it has been so knowledgeable this morning. Of course, because we are with Mr. McKinney and our friends. Good morning, everybody. Hi. We even have some astronauts. Such good sports, by the way. I really appreciate you. So, Mr. McKinney, first of all, tell us about these amazing kids we're with. So, it's an organization called the Houston Area Youth Council on Service. The guys in the green shirts, the Young Men's Service Organization, and then the leading ladies are also joining us today. So, we've got Sloan over here, Hudson, and we also have Liam Conner over here helping us out as being astronauts today, really making fun of an amazing milestone. 50 yes. years celebrating and educating kids about history as well. That's what we're doing on board the Houston History Bus. That's what we're doing today. We're here at Tranquility Park, which is a lot of history. Yeah, so we got off the bus. We've been rolling through the streets of downtown. Some of you have been waving at us, which is really cool. And now we're at Tranquility Park. Tell us about this because I didn't realize the significance of it really. So this was a big deal. This park was, was created in 1979 to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the lunar landing. So think about this. Now we're at 50, right? This was 10 years. Uh, after in 1979. It was by Charles Tapley. He's a very well-known architect and he decided to make this like a rooftop garden for a couple reasons. One, directly below us are three levels of parking for the downtown Civic Center parking garage mm -hmm. and then you can look at the Wortham Fountain behind us. Look at the rocket booster influences of the space program oh. all around us and then more importantly, people look at Tranquility Park and don't realize that it's not a typical park, right? The land's not flat. There's no grassy area. It's basically this walkable space that has different levels uh, crazy to mimic the Sea of Tranquility because that's where the lunar lander landed on July 20th, 1969. So it mimics the topography of the lunar surface, the moon surface. For now, we're on the moon. That's really amazing. Did you guys know about this? I didn't know about it. So we learned so much. And then you were talking about all of the NASA history and the futuristic style of architecture as well. You know, in the, well, and you've got the 1972 Hyatt Regency up there. It's that little circle, uh, spindle top restaurant. It's all around us. As we were driving around downtown, we saw a lot of you know modern architecture, which really had influences from the space program. How do we build a building newer, sleeker, better? And nobody was better than Houston in that time period to benefit from that. Uh, the land also that we're on has even more history because this used to be. It, look, if you love the Greek festival, okay, uh, that's a major thing here in Houston, right? That church, okay, the uh, the Greek Orthodox Church that puts on the Greek festival started out right here on Tranquility Park back in 1917 in a small wooden chapel located right here on this land. So every place and every space has history. It's why we do things on board the bus to educate Houston about their past. And you actually, everybody, listen up. Very exciting event happening this weekend. So tell us about this, Mr. McKinney. There are some wonderful events happening. Definitely, definitely look around town and know about the history of NASA, especially over at Space Center as well. But also, too, uh, I serve on the advisory board for the 1940 Air Terminal Museum, and Gonzo 247, the mural artist, is painting a plane. He's painting a plane at the museum, okay? It's right there by Hobby Airport. And come by and join us on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we're doing a free tour on board the Houston History Bus, a free tour of a cemetery tour in the East End. So learn about local history this weekend celebrate 50 years of NASA, 50 years of Houston innovation. That's what we're doing today. Yeah, and why is it so important for youth like this at, in closing to learn about this and to continue to learn about Houston? So they can be inspired just like the young people, these young professionals back in the 1950s and 60s that helped put a man on the moon. We had the brightest minds here in Houston, Rice University students, people putting guys on the moon and girls putting people on the moon. That was what it was all about. So let's inspire new future kids about yeah. their past. Well, this is our future, so it's all up to you guys. In the meantime, we have plenty of morning dose headed your way. Thank you again, as always, Mr. McKinney, and thank you guys for getting up on summer vacation. You get A pluses in my book for sure. Bye for now. We got more headed your way.